Okay, my name is Alexandra Yates. I work at the Open Source Technology Center. Um, actually, my name is going to change this weekend. I will become Alexandra Collins. So look for that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and I am the maintainer of PowerTop. And for the, one, the ones that don't know what PowerTop is, is a tool that is used on Linux, Linux-based computers. And the purpose of this tool is that to run it and help tune your computer for power management. And so I will strongly encourage everybody to go and check our site. is one.org slash PowerTop. Just go visit us and join the community bring your patches, bring new ideas. So that is that. So today we're going to talk about power tuning, a Linux case study. Well, I'm going to give you some uh, highlights about the experiments I run uh, for this case study. I basically use Ubuntu 13.10. Uh, this uh, Includes Ubuntu Linux 3.11.0.12.19, and it is they Ubuntu hatches their own kernel um, distribution, and I also use the upstream kernel 3.13 and 3.13.7 and 3.14. Uh, in the last couple of days, I did some experiments uh, to 3.15.1, but I just didn't have uh, enough bandwidth to add my uh, results here. But the results are very similar to the 314.0. Um, now, for the hardware, I use a Sony Vio, which is, voila, very nice computer. Um, I really like this computer. It is uh, a 1920 by 1080 touchscreen LCD, and it has a core i5, uh, also, co also known as Haswell ULT. And um, it, it has an SSD drive. It's very cool, pretty. You can pass it around and, and take a look. The one thing I like the most about this computer is how light it is. It feels like paper. It's super thin, super light. It's pretty. Um, it's a really nice interface. Definitely a must. There are, I found few issues still with installing Linux with it. Um, one of the issues is that the drivers, some of them are still not there yet but uh, the community is actively working on solving these issues. So that's good. All right, so uh, the tools I use for this experiment. I use a Yokogawa. This is a power meter. It's Yokogawa WT310. I also use a photometer. And the reason I use a photometer is because I want to be precise on the intensity of light that the screen has uh, when I do my, my uh, experiments, but I go farther on in more detail on the presentation. I also use, of course, PowerTop. Um, I use, my tests are about 20 minutes long, and the reason why I am doing this length of time is because um, systems sometimes have this, at the beginning when you turn it on, they have this process of time, they have to settle down, drivers, things have to settle down before they just go into normal execution. So I uh, take a long time to survey and have uh, very good measurements. Um, I am testing on idle power management, and I am making sure that my battery is fully charged, because if you don't have your battery fully charged, and I learned this by experience, your numbers will be all thrown all, the, all over the place. All right, so now we are going to talk about the results. And I have to make this disclaimer. Uh, no fluffy stuffed animals were harmed in this experiment. <laughs> OK, so in here, um, we are going to have our outside the box computer, outside the box computer itself, and actually also our distribution took Ubuntu from their website and um, installed it on this nice computer. Now, what we see in this screen, this is a little bit of an eye chart, but I will go through all the different lines. Um, we have our out-of-the-box screen on. We have our out-of-the-box screen
everything off. We have our uh, dimness. The screen was dim in a different um, number so that it will be saving more power. And then also we are doing um, a computer when it goes to sleep. Uh, because in the other in the other settings, I um, remove um, I remove that setting. I I told the computer not to go to sleep anytime, so that I will have consistent data and I wouldn't have anything querying uh, the system. So it's important to note in here that a lot of the computers nowadays that when they come out of the box, they come really bright. Our stores make this in purpose so that when you go see them, they are shiny, they are very pretty, very exciting to, to go and buy them, right? But in the long run, you're not going to need that, especially when 90% of the time your computers are in idle, right? So um, what we did here is I went and changed our back, um, backlight brightness, and this is a command to do it. And you're going to notice in different computers and, and different distributions, this number is going to change according to the panel and the platform. And you, that's the reason why I use the photometer. And I set my screen brightness to 200 nits. Uh, and in this, in this platform, it translates to 36. You can eyeball it and you slow it until your eyes are comfortable if you want to uh, save power. So the reason why I did this is so that I could measure our power. So in our graph we have our 20 minutes and we're going to see these 20 minutes in all our graphs consistently and in here it's going to be what's uh, our power wall consumption. So uh, as you notice our screen on a sleep it goes is, is um, awake and then it drops to be uh, consistently off but in here, um, this is, it's, it's okay, it's about five watts, somewhere in the, in the neighborhood. Um, we also see our out of the box screen off, it's about four watts, that's the best measurement that we got in this, in this experiment. But the important thing here is that our screen on, when it was dim, it went from eight, over eight watts to somewhere in the neighborhood on the seven watts. So if you stagger that, inform that amount of watts that you save per hour that you have your computer on, and chances are that you are like me, that every time your you are working on something and you are thinking, and every time your computer is dimming, you just reach and don't let it go to sleep, right? So you are going to add a lot, a lot of watts in the, in the life of your system. So moral of the story, dim your, your, your screen. This is another good graph that I felt was very compelling to tell you guys it's so important to dim the screen. And it would be really nice if it would come like this out of the box, but again, the stores need to make you the cell, right? So in here, uh, the, with, this, with this pie chart, I'm just trying to show you what is the overall power consumption on, on, a, system, on a system. And this is out of an experiment I did uh, with Haswell UAT, and basically um, I figure out that 80% of the power that I'm using is just from the panel. So that is, uh, that's pretty great. Um, the second biggest was the CPU, and that is because we still had some more tuning to do, but um, the CPU could go, go much lower, but definitely the panel, and the panel that's consistently with all other computers. Now here, we're going to, in, the, in this experiment, and I, I upgraded my kernel to 313.7. And I did my screen on and my screen off test, which are the blue and the orange line, and this one right here. And then I did my uh, screen on after running power top, and then my screen off after running power top. So I, f I figured out in here that my savings were about 5% um, of savings on power just out of the box by only running PowerTop. PowerTop has a nice feature that you can um, tune your system. It tells you what features you could use to tune, but I'll go into that in more detail later. 
Well, in this experiment, I upgraded to 313.7. And I run again, power top, screen on, and screen off. And in this one, this was, um, this was really nice because in this one I got the 20% difference by doing the two things, upgrading my kernel to the latest uh, upstream kernel, stable, and then running power top. By doing those two things, I am saving 20% of power. This is without dimming my screen. So if you dim your screen, you get another additional savings, right? Well, so now we're going to talk about what's powered up and how does it look like and what I'm looking in here. So I, in the mailing list, I hear a lot of people telling, well, I'm not sure what data I see here. What, how do we interpret this? So it turns out that computers, in their processors, they use this thing called C states. A lot of you will be familiar with this. And basically, a C state is just a state that uh, the processor uses to be idle. And it will take more or less time to come up of this idle state and just, um, just uh, yeah, that's that. And so in here, PowerTop lists our states uh, in the package, within the core, and within the different CPUs. So if you notice, our cores package kind of, I, I like to call it package, but they, they are, um, in two CPUs are set of one core, and another two CPUs are set of another core. And our package, it's, it has all those items as an addition of the GPU. So what we want to see in these numbers is to reach our highest states and to spend, when our computer is idle, to spend the most of time on these states. That is the good thing we want. If we have our computer idle and we are staying all the time in C0, that is a big problem in your system. Big problem. And we look into that. It might be the driver, it might be the screen, it might be the graphics, it might be the network. So in this particular case, we are at the package level, we are not reaching C7 states or C8, which is what you would like to reach um, when you have, you still, your, your computer is not turned off completely, but it's in this state where it can come back quickly from, from um, sleep. Um, and that's a problem. We want you to be in C state on the package. And the reason why is that is because you have your CPUs and your, and your GPU, and the collection of all those processes running on them will aggregate to reaching your state. So in this figure, we are looking on the screen off. And if you notice, uh, OK, let me go back for a second. Our numbers on the screen off before running part up, and this is when it is tuned. And so our numbers are still 98%. And this one, we increase a little bit more on the core, 99%. It's, it, is, it is good to increase the 1%, but it's still not there yet. Now, I went and test our screen off by, ad, by upgrading to the 314 kernel. And then it's still, I'm um, still 94%. But in here, I actually reached my 86% time on, on my CS8. And the reason why I did this well, I didn't just magically by running PowerTop reach this state, but I learned that there are a couple of settings that I had to set in my distribution on the, my command line so that my computer will behave nicely on power management. And for the people who do hardware and who do distributions and who are pushing all this outside to the customers, it's very important to learn and understand very well what are those features that are power friendly according to the platforms you are using, right? So in here, I use the PC7, oh, I'm sorry, i915, which is enabled PSR1. And basically, this is a graphics, um, a graphics setting. And it is a panel self-refresh setting that is in, is, it comes with the new Haswells. 
Um, and I set it to one. And uh, what this does, it takes takes the panel. And if the la if the colors that are coming out um, are the same, then it stops. It just keeps the same picture without changing it. So it saves it saves you some power there. Um, I also add the setting PCIe, ASMP4s, and basically this uh, tells my system to use my SATA, um, my PCIe ASPM, my SATA thing, my SATA power management uh, settings uh, to, to use them to because they are new. And so at the moment, the kernel and the systems are not aware of this. So it's good to use uh, these settings. Um, this is so certain devices use the link power management and a state like the new devices the newer devices will use this um, and if they don't have the LPM or LTR flag set they won't be able to access deep this deep state so this is what I'm doing by setting this flag I'm setting those devices that are um, a ASPM friendly into a deeper power state. Right, so another thing that is a big factor on reaching your deep power states is your software, right? Well, so it turns out that PowerTop gives us this really nice graph on how many wake-ups per second our software has in within a sense of time or with a period of time in your computer. So for instance, in here we have our i915 driver going and having a lot of interrupts. We also have 46 interrupts. And so this is actually, these numbers are quite low comparing the average. Uh, usually computers have in between 80 to 120 to 200 interrupts per second. So this does a really good job showing us uh, that, of course, the idea is to lower these numbers to the more that we can. So when you are driving, when you're writing your software, be mindful about your wake ups per second, your drivers, right? Your kernel code, your anything that you are writing software wise, look, go and look how how is it behaving. Now, PowerTop, oh, uh, this is a bit of a nice chart. PowerTop has this um, nice setting this nice setting that help us go and look into what are the devices that are available in my system and what are the devices that are consuming the more energy on that system. And so if you, run, if you go to the tab tunables, you're going to see a list kind of like this. And you don't have to read all over it. But these are pretty much the names of the items that you will see. And in the other hand of the list, it will be the command that you will use in your uh, CSFS to tune that specific device into a power management friendly setting. So after you go and try all these different commands and you look that it's not breaking your machine in any way because sometimes that happens if your drivers are not graded correctly. Then you can, you can go and add this nice little flag power top auto tune in your batch R um, ba uh, sorry <laughs> batch RC and uh, so in the idea with that is that every time your computer turns on you will run this and your system will be tuned for power always but the reason why we don't do that is because sometimes these commands can be dangerous and since we cannot control power top cannot control the drivers that are out there and their support. Therefore, we do it this way. Now, we have uh, this one. This one, I think, is one of the most powerful slides of my presentation. I really like this experiment. It was Linux kernel 314.0. And this is when I also uh, installed 314.3.15.1, and it had some similar numbers. Um, 
basically I did my out of the box screen, the first test that I showed you at the beginning, and my out of the, out of the box, box screen off, on and off. And then I run in, on my computer ab above of having my latest kernel, I run power top. And these are the other two lines. And if you notice in here, my lines are substantially farther apart. I'm saving about, um, with the screen off, I'm saving about one watt, which is 10%. And with the screen off, I'm saving about 64%. Um, so that's pretty good. That is very good. OK. So now I am going to go, oh, I forgot to tell you about these devices that I also use for my testing. So I wanted to know, well, OK, well, I tuned my, my computer. But now that I'm going to use my USB mouse, which that one is pretty crazy yeah, sometimes in terms of power. And uh, we've, we can use like an SD card. Those ones consume power as well. And um, what was the other item I used? Um, Let's go back to the beginning and I'll show you the list of devices. I don't remember at the top of my head. OK, we use a USB, a USB drive, I use a USB mouse, and a SD card for this next experiment. And I wish I could go a little faster here. Oh, awesome. Okay. Oh, there it is. All right. So in here, I um, I don't think this is the slide I was going to show you. All right, yes. Now with those devices, um, in this specific screen, I am going to show you um, with the gradient, how my screen, by having this gradient background that uh, Ubuntu systems have, that actually I have the white background, how different my power consumption is by only changing the color. And so in here, I use my gradient. I use 314 kernel with the gradient. And I also use a black background. Um, so in this experiment, it was pretty interesting because I was actually not expecting this much difference between colors. But because of the um, but, um, now I forgot. Well, in, t in just in general, I save 19%, which is about 2 watts by changing the color. And this is related on um, the back buffers right? that, that the graphics ca ha cars have. And uh, because they have, to do, they have to do one more mathematical computation in order to calculate all the different colors that the screen is putting out there, and also um, put in the different colors per pixel, right? So when you use a solid color, you don't have to do that. You just show the one color all over the place. I forgot the term, but that's the basic idea behind it. And that's why we uh, see this. I also tested between white and blue and black. And surprisingly, white has the best numbers. And here is where we have our devices. And I do my screen on power top, USB storage, which is the orange line, with, which is pretty close. So most of the devices didn't have a problem. The only one that was time, uh, power consuming was the mouse. And this is after running power top. So nowadays, these platforms come pretty well tuned with certain devices. but we might run into certain issues if our device, device driver, does not play nicely. Now, 
In conclusion, we have a lot of room for improvement here in terms of software, in terms of the platforms. We have room and improvement in terms of tuning our devices. In terms of tuning our devices, not just only in terms of hardware, but in software. The distributions that our devices run are very important to be tuned for different things. So I, I noticed how Ubuntu has these Ubuntu um, certified devices. And I think they do a really great job at picking certain uh, platforms and tuning them, tuning the operating system for them. I wish we could do more. That is my wish. But my bigger wish in this is for the community to start using tools as PowerTop. And if you want to use PowerTop, even better, <laughs> right? Come to, come to our website and use your tool in your laptop, in your desktop, in whatever computer you have. Save some watts. At the end of the day, this is, I got this picture from the NASA website, and this is how our continent looks like at night. So if we can see it from the satellite, chances are that we are spending a little too much power, right? So I think this is only in terms of brightness in the outside in the streets. But think about all the power we consume in our devices, in our telephones, in our computers, every gadget that we use. Some of us have three, four, five gadgets, right? It's not anymore like you have one computer. No, <laughs> this is a good example. I have two, three, right? We all do that now. So if we say one, two watts, some milliwatts in your, in your mom, smaller mobile devices, this is going to be a big win to minimize our footprint. And that's that. Thank you. So with this, I open the floor for questions. Yes. On the I did everything with the panel on because that was the test. If I turn off the pa the panel, then well, uh, my panel is not going to show the. I'm kind of removing one of the items from the question, yeah, but I'm yes. Yeah, I think that is a very valid test to do, and it would be really nice to see it and to go more granular in there and identify if I would be doing more of uh, debugging what is the problem and why I want to get that extra watt out of there, I would do that, that, that test. But I feel for the purpose of the presentation, this was enough to give us a sense on how much can we save by just running one tool. And if think about if you run more than one tool in your computer, chances are the things that we don't pick in PowerTop are picked by other tools, right? So. Right, so that's a really good question. Um, right now we are in an effort of putting more documentation outside in PowerTop. If you go look into our website, I just published a um, paper or user's manual, and it tells you information on power management principles. And it goes over the system, some parts of the system, and I didn't do a good job at explaining you all these different parts of the system and the power management features that you can use. And the reason for that is that it's another talk, in, in essence. But if you go there, you can have a um, good idea. That's a good starting point. It's not all. It's a good starting point. And then you can have a better understanding of what devices. Now, bear in mind that all the devices that are under the sky, there are a lot, right? And some of them play good, some of them don't. So you just need to play with it. You need to play, go see it. And the beauty about PowerTop is that it's not a feature that is, it will set a date and your computer will die and freeze and never come back. No, you can restart your computer and it will come back up to the previous settings. So if it breaks, well, you know not to use that setting. 
So the idea is that you do, but why we don't turn it on all the time is because we don't want to break computers out there with the devices that don't play nicely. And, and that's, uh, so in here I had that slide that said, gosh, that tell me about this one right here. If you have played with all your devices, and all, all these scripts work in your bash shell, every one of them, then you can just use this in your, R, in your bash RC file. If not, then you can pick and choose the commands and add them in there as well, so that you don't have to do it every time manually. Well, um, he said about the kernel. So the, a good way to answer this is, um, yeah, you. No, not necessarily. So here, this is the th the thing that I do every time I'm looking into a new kernel. I go and look into their release notes. And as she said, there are new features, right? And the community is very active on working on the new platforms and pushing the patches that go for the new platforms and make them power, power uh, effective. Um, some of them make it early, some of them later. There are a lot of platforms out there. So it would be one of the things to look is your kernel. The second thing to look, as she said, is the distributions, right? That's important. The third thing to look is your drivers, your hardware, right? It's, it's, it's a system, so it's the whole. For power, it's the whole. You look everything, the software you are running. We do a studies of that, but we don't release those numbers. We do them in the purpose at Intel, of course. We do those studies so that we tune our platforms to be more power effective, and those changes go into the kernel usually. Sure. Any other questions? All right, so we're early. I give you 25 minutes away. <laughs> and the moral of the story here is use PowerTop. This is a vibrant community. It's alive, it's open. So I invite everybody in this room to come and visit one.org forward slash PowerTop, get uh, the repo, and start contributing. And uh, as I am the maintainer, I'm also very active at the mailing list. So mail in there your concerns, your new ideas, uh, the idea is that we make this this tool more robust because that's that's good for everybody. Sure. Thank you.